G'day guys and welcome to The Lion, the Gypsy in the Road. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm here to talk about my fridge today. Uh, whether you're out in the bush, you're on the high seas or you're on the road, the best fridge that I can recommend for you is the C130 Vitro Frigo. <laughs> So when I started looking for a fridge during this van conversion, I really had no idea what I was looking for. It was super frustrating and I was very, very indecisive. I basically did a lot of research through YouTube. I asked a lot of people that were doing van life or had done van conversions via Instagram. I asked my uncle who has a fridge in his boat. He recommended Googling fridges that are specific for boats. So I jumped online. I googled best fridges for boats. Uh, at the top of the list in Google was caravan, camping and RV. And I jumped on their website and within a few seconds a little chat popped up and it said, hey Ryan, how are you? How can we help? At first I thought it was just like a generic robot. Turns out it was a real life human being. He was an absolute legend. He was so knowledgeable. I told him that I was looking for a fridge. I didn't know where to start. He asked me what my needs were how big I wanted the fridge to be, how big the space was, how much power consumption. Once we broke down those things, he gave me three fridges to choose from. He sent me the links with reviews that other people had done. I watched those links. I then broke it down between the Dometic and the Vitrofrigo. He then said that Dometic, unfortunately, because of COVID, wasn't available in Australia at the time. He said, but a big selling point for you might be that Vitrofrigo is actually on sale right now. It's normally $2,000 and it's reduced to $12.99 just because of the stock. Uh, he, then, he then told me that I had the choice between an internal or an external compressor. I said, all right, tell me about it. He said, well, if you get the internal compressor, you have less fridge space and your fridge won't be as cold. It will be cold, but not as cold as the external compressor. He said, if you get the external compressor, you can put the external compressor in a cupboard nearby or under your bed in your build. Your fridge will have a lot more space to put food, beers, cold water, so on and so forth. And he said it will stay colder for longer. That means your food will stay fresher and you're going to be a happier client. So when I was doing my van build, Caravan RV Camping were actually following along and they really loved my concept designs and I used a lot of their merchandise. So they basically sent me an email and said, hey, if you can do a review for us, we're going to send you this rad icebox from Dometic. So I sent it through to them and check it out. This is a 22 liter Dometic icebox. Keeps my ice cold for like seven days. It's unbelievable. I can fit almost a case and a half of beer in there. You can fit food in there as well, but beer is obviously the best choice. Uh, I use it when I go camping or if I want to sit around the fire or if I go to a barbecue. But uh, yeah, great little thing. Super light when there's nothing in it. And uh, if I don't have any beers or any ice in there, you know, I use it as storage in the back. I keep uh, my wetsuits or, you know, anything that's wet because it's fully sealed. I keep that in there. Huh. Huh.